All right, good evening. This is Jessica for today, Tuesday, December 11th, night group talk. And today we had a lovely discussion about a lot of things, uh, including history and food. Um, we had a lot of good recommendations for food, including olive, olive oil daifuku. Look it up. It sounds very delicious. In fact, because we talked about so many sweets, I am now yearning for sweets. So today's word was yearning for, up here, Y-E-A-R-N-I-N-G. And to yearn for something means to really want something, really desire it. Um, for example, uh, I live in Tokyo, but I often yearn to go for, to Kyoto. I really want to go there. But be careful when you talk about yearning to see someone, because yearning is a very strong word, and usually it kind of has a romantic idea. So you don't often yearn to see your friend, you just want to see your friend. But you might yearn to see your boyfriend. Now, talking about food, one thing we uh, talked about was oranges, uh, mikan in English, satsuma oranges, and they are part of the citrus group. Citrus group means kind of sour things, so oranges, limes, lemons, grapefruit, all of that group are citrus. And then one other thing we talked about not food related is a plaque. Now be careful if you just say plaque, plaque is actually the kind of yellow stuff that gets on your teeth and you have to go to the dentist to clean it off is plaque. But a plaque is something very different. A plaque is a little special sign that uh, mentions a famous thing about history, say uh, this house was Shakespeare's house, or at this place there was a famous event, or often for a prize or trophy you get a plaque, so uh, a school team that wins a competition will get maybe a trophy, a cup, and a plaque that says you know, 2012 winners baseball. So a plaque that says their names and the event. All right. Of course, I am already yearning for next group talk, so please join us then. See you then. Good night.